Well, we saw a, bit of, saw a bit of a softening last night and a bit of opening up. So my expectations are that we'll see more of that. And I'm hoping, as so many of the survivors are hoping, that the Royal Commission has some real evidence documents that they're going to lead Cardinal Pell to that will show, in fact, that even he knew what was going on, something that he's denied in the past. But we did see some admission from him yesterday that we haven't seen before. Uh, so it's, it's slightly encouraging. We're hopeful and slightly optimistic now. Yes, last night was just setting the scene and I think that the way the Commission operates that they will um, they'll definitely delve deeper into what went on. In which regards exactly? In, into regards to what perhaps Cardinal Pell knew and, what, and if he didn't know what he should have known. He was, he was in charge and he was a very prominent figure in Ballarat at the time these crimes were taking place. I think what's important to, to remember that this is, you know, as we said last night, and I think uh, Spotlight winning the Oscar is just a reminder that this is a global issue and that, you know, that the bishops and cardinals around the world were following the directives of the, of the Vatican. And um, Cardinal Pal last night tried to suggest that the structure in the Vatican and the, and the international church was solid and sound and the problems were at the grassroots level. I think that's, we need to start challenging that.